Good afternoon, and welcome to what we're going to call Neuromodulation in the University. My name is Dr. William Porter McRoberts. I am an interventional physiatrist. I'm living in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and uh, I'm putting together a web series to discuss neuromodulation, which is, in short, spinal cord stimulation, peripheral nerve stimulation, peripheral field stimulation, and even deep brain stimulation. And the objective is to, in a short series of approximately 15 uh, short talks, discuss in detail what neuromodulation is and to make available to a patient, any prospective patient, my own or, or another uh, doctor's, the good, the bad, and the ugly about neuromodulation, about what it entails, who can benefit, why we do it, what it can and can't do, and all the, the risks and benefits associated with it so that the patient can get a full and unfettered uh, opinion of what it is and why they should or shouldn't do it. I have the privilege of being able to speak to other physicians and train other physicians on neuromodulation throughout the U.S. and even the world, and it, it seemed to me quite odd that I don't spend the same amount of time, quite honestly, talking to my patients. I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours talking to doctors about it, and there are nuances that are simply we don't have time to discuss with you, myself or, or, other, or other doctors, even if we spent hours. And so this is an attempt to make available to you at your convenience um, in approximately 15 chapters the good, the bad, and the ugly on spinal cord stimulators and everything that's behind it. In short, I'll detail what we're going to cover, and you can reference them. In Chapter 1, and I should apologize for looking off screen, but it's just me, we're going to talk about what neuromodulation is, <clears throat> how it works, where does the electricity go, what does it feel like, what does it do, does it hurt, why does it work, and why doesn't it work sometimes, how long has it been done. In Chapter 2, we're going to talk about what is actual spinal cord stimulation, what is a spinal cord stimulator. In Chapter 3, we're going to talk about peripheral nerve stimulation and peripheral nerve field stimulation. In Chapter 4, we're going to talk about why neuromodulation. Who is a good candidate? Why do we do behavioral uh, medicine evaluations? Who is a poor candidate? And what is the likelihood of a good versus bad outcome? In Chapter 5, we're going to talk about the trial day. What to expect? Uh, what's going to happen uh, on the table when you come in? What are the expectations over the ensuing week of the trial? Chapter 6, we're going to talk about the permanent implant. Again, what to expect, what it's going to be like when you come into the hospital and have this, uh, this implant. In Chapter 7, we're going to talk about all the risks that are associated with neuromodulation, specifically as it relates to spinal cord uh, stimulation as well as peripheral nerve stimulation. We won't be covering deep brain stimulation. Then we're going to talk about what you can do to mitigate risks in, uh, in Chapter 8. We're going to talk about who should be doing uh, neuromodulation in Chapter 9. We should, we're going to be talking about what kind of pain neuromodulation works on in Chapter 10. In Chapter 11, we're going to talk about what the data says. Uh, uh, in Chapter 12, we're going to talk about the future, what exciting new uh, treatments are out there. 13 is going to cover uh, what is and what is not FDA approved and why. Chapter 14, we'll talk about what is the difference between different neuromodulation companies, Boston Scientific, St. Jude, and Medtronic, and others. And then in Chapter 15, we're going to talk about paddle leads and coaxial, that being the, the cylindrical leads. And then in Chapter 16, we'll leave it open. All the things that I forgot to mention, I'm going to try and include. I appreciate you spending the time with us and with me. Um, I hope that this is a benefit to you. Um, it is a pleasure and a, uh, um, a real honor to be able to treat patients. And... Um, I hope this helps. Thanks.